Hello friends and welcome to the Saitama Stacker channel. My name is Dean. I'll be your host today. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to buy uh, or you could sell the exact same way DeFi tokens like Saitama on the Ledger Live um, app. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the software and show you how to do that. A couple other little things I discovered along the way. So the coin I'm buying is Saitama. Price currently is um, seven zeros seven zero. It's down a little bit, which hopefully will I'll get a few more tokens for my money. Um, and I've waited till pretty late at night to see if I can get better gas fees. So here is my Ledger Live account. You can see in the menu over here there are several things that might lead you to think that you could use that to go out and buy DeFi tokens, such as Swap or buy and sell. But as you look at these tabs, what you'll find is they're really only for swapping things that are inside the Ledger Live software and available, like maybe they have liquidity pools. So you can only buy these four tokens, Bitcoin, Tether, USD, or Chainlink, or your swap anyway for Ethereum. Or you could um, put any of those up in here and swap uh, likewise. Then in the buy and sell category, you're going to be getting a, a little wider selection, but not the DeFi tokens that we're looking for. So what we're going to do is actually go into this discover section and they have several different uh, little applications inside here that you can interact with in your wallet. MoonPay is one that I've used, used several times to transfer money from my bank account to a wallet. So you can transfer cash from your bank account to via MoonPay to the Ledger wallet, if that's something that you needed to do before you buy additional tokens. And then they have two DeFi aggregators, okay? So Paraswap and OneInch. These are both separate applications that look out across all of the DeFi exchanges, or at least several of the DeFi exchanges, and try to get you the most coins for your money or the best price. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Paraswap to try to make this transaction today. Okay, when you're doing this, you are gonna to have to have your um, Nano X or Nano S available because you're gonna to have to approve the transaction. Now, in my case, I mean, we're inside the wallet, so my wallet is linked. Um, I have a couple of ETH in here and I'm gonna go ahead and spend one ETH towards buying Saitama. Now, um, you may have to import Saitama. If you click on it here, you can search by the, the address. You could go directly to saitamatoken.com, copy the address for Saitama and bring it in to make sure you get the right one. Or you can search for Saitama because it is supported and you will have to import it. It'll show it under CoinGecko. Um, so just make sure you're selecting the right one because there are a lot of copycat tokens that are hoping that you'll accidentally buy them instead. So I've already got that selected. I'm paying one ETH. Um, as I scroll down, you'll see here, it's estimating my cost at $64. If I can get it that cheap, that would be incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the swap button. Okay, and it's gonna take me to a confirmation screen. It shows my slippage at 3%. I'm gonna boost that up to five just because the price is pretty volatile. It's showing there's $33 in partner fees. Let's confirm the order and see what it comes back with for actual fees for me here. Okay, now it's gonna have me from this point. Okay, so it's showing $91 in network fees, which I'm okay with. An hour ago, it's midnight now, at 11 o'clock, that fee was $400. So waiting an hour, I'm buying a lot more coins with my money. Now it's going to ask me to sign in to my Ledger Nano X, which I will go ahead and do. Okay, so I've signed in and I'm connected via cord to my computer here. And it says um, I'm going to open Paraswap. The app is open. So it's going to go ahead now and hopefully process that transaction. It wants me to confirm. So 
It's it's on my actual device. I've got something that says review transaction. I click over. It's a Paraswap swap. I'm sending one ETH. I'm going to receive a minimum of X amount of Saitama showing me the gas fee. Accept and send. I sent that through. Now the transaction's been sent and we'll wait and see if it comes through. Now, when I was actually trying to sell to learn how to do this and I used one inch, I got several um, notifications that I had failed. The transaction failed. So I tried resubmitting it and resubmitting it and resubmitting it. And the next day I woke up to five confirmed transactions. So I'd actually sold what I wanted to sell five times, which is not part of the plan. But um, I would recommend just giving it time. Even if it comes back and says it failed, maybe give that an hour and check and just make sure that it wasn't an, an error. So it's saying I can click here for operating details. Um, I'll probably pause the video and wait for this to come through so you don't have to sit and watch the screen spin. And I'll give you a time estimate of about how long it takes for this to go ahead and uh, process through. Okay, so I've received now a confirmation that my uh, order went through. It did take about five minutes for that to process. Um, it does give you a link to view the transaction in the Explorer. Um, so we'll just open it up and take a look at it. It should just show us a transaction and say success. So here we go. So the ether scan, here is the uh, success. We did it. There it is actually. So my estimate was pretty good. It took four minutes and 36 seconds for that to process through. And for my one ETH, I was able to exchange for um, just about 48 billion uh, Saitama. So good stuff. Happy to have them back and uh, ready for the Cytomask launch. So, hey, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Check back with me for additional content, all things related to Saitama. Have a wonderful day and best of luck with your ledger transactions.